Five men accused of plotting to blow up a bridge in Brecksville were back in court today. The Route 82 bridge over the Cuyahoga Valley National Park in Brecksville was the alleged target. News Channel 5's Bob Jones is at Federal Courthouse in Akron where the hearing took place. And Bob, more details about how the FBI was able to capture these men were revealed today. Well, that's right, Leon. We learned today that the five suspects were actually arrested outside of an Applebee's restaurant after a failed attempt to blow up that bridge. In Akron today, on a hearing on the issue of bond, federal prosecutors showed night vision surveillance video captured exactly one month ago that shows some of the suspects placing what they thought were real explosives at the base of the bridge, according to investigators. The FBI says the men needed an alibi, so they traveled to an Applebee's 25 miles to the north and then tried multiple times to enter codes on cell phones to blow up the bridge. Nothing happened, of course, because the bombs were fakes. Prosecutors say the attempted bombing shows the men are dangerous and that they could be flight risks and therefore should remain locked up. On the other hand, defense attorneys argued today that an FBI informant who secretly recorded hours and hours of conversations with the suspects encouraged, even entrapped the men into an act of terrorism. The question on bond is whether they're a danger, and I think we presented evidence today that demonstrates that without this government prov provocateur, none of this would have happened, and so they're not a danger. And today, the judge asked attorneys on both sides to file briefs by June 8th on the issue of bond. After that, the judge will decide whether those suspects in this attempted bombing plot will be released from jail or will remain locked up until their trial, which is scheduled for September. Live in Akron tonight, Bob Jones, News Channel 5. Many thanks for your report tonight. Thank you, Bob.